In this video I'm going to look at frequency tables um, and these are a very useful way of summarizing data. So uh, the other day I asked one of my classes how many pets everyone in the class had and they gave me different answers. Some people had no pets, some had one, two, three or four and there was one person who even had eleven pets. I think they were insects or something so um, that's why there were so many of them. Um, and I've summarized that data in this table. Now uh, it's really important just to uh, really understand what each of these columns mean. So this is the number of pets each person had and this is how many people had that many number of pets. So there were four people that had zero pets, eight that had one pet, five that had two pets, three had three pets, two had four pets, and as I say one boy had eleven pets. Um, and that's what we mean by the frequency. It's how many people there are or how many uh, things there are in our list that uh, are this value. So actually a frequency table is just uh, really a way of summarizing a list. So in fact I've just written out that list here. There are four zeros in it, eight ones, five twos, three threes, four twos, and one eleven. This frequency table is just describing this list of data. So one thing we'd like to do is to get some statistics from this. So, so you know how to work out the mean and the median and the mode and the range of this data hopefully uh, if it was presented in a list so we're just going to think how we can do that quickly from a frequency table okay so uh, let's start with the mean then uh, and and for the mean what we want to do is we want to add up all of these different values and divide by how many values there are so well how many values are there well we could just count through this list now um, or we could say, well, okay, if this was how many people there were with zero, this was how many there were with one, etc. If I just add up all these different values, uh, then we'll get the total number of people that there were in this class. And sometimes we write it with this Greek capital sigma here. That means sort of sum or adding everything up. So if I add up, this means add up all the f's, all the frequencies. Uh, 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 5 is 17, plus 3 is 20, and plus another 2 and 1, so that's 23. So there were 23 people uh, in this class. And how can we add up these quickly? Well, um, I want four zeros. Okay, they're all zero, that's fine. Um, I want eight ones, I want five twos, three threes, two fours, and one eleven. So rather than just adding them up one at a time, um, what we could do is, uh, is say, uh, put another column in our table here, and call it, I'm going to call it xf, because what I'm going to do is multiply x by f, the number of pets times the frequency. I'm going to do zero times four, that's zero, one times eight, that's 8, 2 times 5, that's 10, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 2 is 8, and finally 1 times 11 is 11. And that adds up this list because rather than doing 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, I've just got 2 times 5, and that's 10. So if I add together all of these numbers, uh, 8, 18, 27, 35, 36, uh, I can say the sum of xf is 36. So to get the mean of this data, I just need to do the sum of x times f, 36, divided by the sum of f, uh, here, the total number of pieces of data. So this is adding them all up and dividing them by how many there are. Uh, and, and that's our final answer, 36 over 23. Depends on what you're doing, you might want to put it under the calculator and round it off here. So actually we've got uh, about 1.57 to two decimal places there. Uh, pets. So the average number of pets in this class is 1.57 pets. Hopefully no one has exactly 1.57 pets, uh, but uh, that's how many they, they, they have uh, on average. When I say average, usually if someone just says the average, they mean the mean, but of course we've got these two other definitions of uh, average as well, the median and the mode. So to get the median, uh, that's the middle value. Uh, now the middle value in a list like uh, this, where we'd have to sort of you know count through or split the data into two halves, uh, and and see where it is. Now just remember, we've got two slightly different cases for the medium. One where we've got an odd number of values, uh, like here there are seven uh, pieces of data in this list. So the middle value is uniquely defined. It's just fifteen. There are three uh, either sides of it. If you actually wanted a formula for the middle value you could do n plus 1 over 2 where um, n is the number of values so that gives us 7 plus 1 over 2 that's 4 and that's the fourth value so that would be the median here um, if you wanted to do the same thing uh, for this one though because uh, there's an even number of values there's no unique middle value so we've got to choose between uh, these two 
here, and you know we take the average of those two, so we do 11 plus 16 um, over 2, which is 13 and a half here, and that's what we'd call the median, so that's the even case. You can still say m plus 1 over 2, but actually that gives us 7 over 2, or 3 and a half, so we have to kind of go between the third and the fourth values. So if we look at back at the data we've got here then, so we had 23 pieces of data, so that's a nice uh, odd number of values, so uh, we can do m plus 1 over 2 gives us 24 over 2. We want for the median, uh, let's write that here, the median will be the 12th value then. One useful idea we've got here is also what we're going to call cumulative frequency, and this can, we're going to, this can help us um, work this out. I'm also going to be using it uh, again later as well. So the cumulative frequency tells you how many there are up to and including that value, such so as there's 4 that are 0, and if I do 4 plus 8, that gives me 12, that means there are uh, 12 that are up to and including 1. I can add on the 5 and get 17. There are 17 up to and including 2. There are 20 up to and including 3. 22 up to and including 4. And 23 up to and including 1. So actually, um, this helps us to see where the 12th value is, um, because we can see now, well, okay, there's the 12th value uh, is in this uh, section here, uh, it's going to be a 1, and you can see, see that in this list as well, there are 4 zeros, then 8 1s, so the 12th value is a 1, so the median here is 1. And again, if we were, had, in the case where we had an even number of da data, if there's only been 22 here, you know, we'd have been uh, averaging the 11th and the 12th pieces of data uh, in the same way, and if they were in different classes, we'd have to average them, if they were the same value, we would just take uh, that value. Okay, um, so that's the mean and the median. Now we've also got the mode, and the mode is the most common value. It's the one that uh, occurs most often here, and it's we're thinking about which value appears most often in this list. It's obviously 1, we can see there are more 1s than anything else, and actually to work out the mode then just directly from the frequency table, we can just see, okay, well which value has the highest frequency? We can see the highest frequency here is 8, uh, and that's 1. Uh, so the mode is 1, not 8. The most common mistake people make here is to use 8 as the mode. 8 is how many people have one pet, uh, but 1 is the actual mode. That's the most common number of pets that people have. So we've got three different ways of getting an average there, and they're all useful in different ways, actually. You know, you, you can see the mean is perhaps the most natural sort of average uh, that we have to define, but it does give us a slightly odd value. You know, no one has one and a half pets, um, so uh, perhaps the mode or the median here uh, are, are more useful. Actually, one pet is the, the most common one. If you said what's the average number of pets people have, saying one is a reasonable answer here. Um, so it just depends on the on the context which one uh, we use. Um, the other thing I said I'd define here is the range, and the range you will remember is the maximum value minus the minimum value. Okay. So the largest possible number of pets here is 11, and the smallest number of pets is 0. So I do 11 minus 0, and I get 11. Um, so again, the most common mistake here is that people would actually write this whole thing as the range, like we can think of a range when we talk about it in ordinary languages, saying, well, it's, it's everything from 5 up to 10, or it's everything from 0 up to 11 here. Um, but in statistics, we say the range is the actual number, which is what you get when you subtract the minimum value from the maximum value. And again, we can get that from the frequency table really easily just by looking at the highest possible value and subtracting it, subtracting the smallest possible value. Okay, so the ideas for mean, median, mode, and range are no different than they were when we just had a list of data. In fact, a frequency table really is just uh, an abbreviated list of data. Um, so think through what you're doing and follow, follow those rules and uh, you will get the right answers.